Hello, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury reporting for Basil World, Razzle Dazzle, Basil World 2017. And uh, I tell you what, Basil World, this is the international Swiss watch fair where new models are shown to the public. And this is the excitement, the, the glamour of the industry. And today I want to talk about Patek Philippe, Patek Philippe and their new pieces for 2017 and i've got to tell you they've uh look they 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 they've they've kind of the biggest surprise is they've released that beautiful blue which was sort of a nautilus ellipse sort of blue they've kind of released that in a quite a few models They've released that blue in the 5396, which I think is the best annual calendar. They've released it in an Aquanaut, an Aquanaut, which was supposed to be the more casual sports paddock, the Nautilus being the more formal. And it's quite, quite, quite amazing, quite amazing. Lovely blue dial. That seems to be, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting... It's the way you can you can sort of uh, release things without having to put a lot of development. The watch industry is going through a bit of a slump, and uh, you know I, I think introducing new sort of dials and that there is is one way to kind of uh, ex, you know very affordably bring some excitement and glamour to the industry. So let's take a look at Patek's. Latest offering in Basel World 2017. Basel World 2017. Let's have a look what Patek Philippe has released at this year's Basel World 2017 International Watch and Jewelry Show. And if we have a look at the lineup there, Patek has done something extremely interesting. Now, it might be a little bit simple. It's not it's not something that uh, is sort of revolutionary. It's evolutionary. But have a look. This is the lineup here. And uh, look at that beautiful, beautiful blue starburst that is making an entrance. Now, this piece came, this, this color is coming out on such things as the 5372 Platinum. That's a men's grand complication this is a very very special piece indeed it's a split second mono pusher chronograph perpetual calendar um, moon phases this is pretty pretty amazing stuff and look at that beautiful blue starburst dial if we have a look at the range we can also see some other interesting developments the 5940 which is uh, Patek Philippe's grand complication it this is a um, perpetual calendar it's in rose gold rose gold very very good choice indeed we've also got a platinum world time have a look at this it's no ordinary world time this is on a bracelet and it's the Collison enamel version. This is collector's item, collector's item, collector's item. These sell way over retail. And I don't think the platinum version is going to be any less popular. Plat platinum watch with a platinum bracelet. This is the ultimate world time to have. And interestingly, it's based on the 5130. The 5131 is the name given to the Collison version. And this has got classic watch written all over it. Patek has also, they're filtering through the line Rose Gold. Rose Gold is a very, very popular, popular metal for Patek this year at Basel World. If we have a look... They've released a 5170, that's Patek Philippe's fabulous chronograph. It was released in platinum, but also with the blue starburst dial. This is the sort of blue which Patek is seeping into the entire range. 
2017 is definitely Patek Blue. Maybe this is the new corporate colour for Patek. Rolex has the Rolex green. Patek may be having this very, very sophisticated blue starburst type of dial. And Patek has been a huge fan of blues. Remember the classic Nautilus. Remember, remember the fabulous ellipse. Okay, the ellipse may not be everyone's cup of tea now, but in the day, the ellipse itself was a very, very cool piece. Very cool indeed. Proportions, proportions. So if we have a look at what else Padek is doing here, we can see they've got a skeletonized, uh, it's coming out in a skeletonized piece in rose gold. Uh, the one thing I do love is the 5396. I think this is probably the nicest annual calendar of all time. And uh, this is a very, very beautiful piece. It uses the classic 324 caliber movement. Uh, it's also, it's an annual calendar, and they've gone for the blue starburst dial. And interestingly enough, they've released a version with gold applied markers, and they've also released a version, they have released a version with baguette diamonds. So uh, there's two versions of this. This is a very important color combination Patek Philippe is using. It's a combo deal that only Patek Philippe can do. This is the fantastic 2017 Basel World colors. It's this very, very royal rich blue. Now, this blue is also filtering through to the 5960. This is a classic piece indeed. This is a white gold annual calendar chronograph. Fabulous combo team there indeed. It's an annual calendar chronograph. And uh, it's got that, in the white gold, it's also got that beautiful, beautiful blue blue dial. This is a blue varnish dial. It's interesting how they filtered this blue through. Some are starburst, some are, they're very, very dependent on the model. The biggest surprise, the biggest surprise from the Patek stand is what they did to the men's Aquanaut. Take a look, take a look. The Aquanaut 5168, this is the G, which is the white gold version. It is, look at that dial, a blue embossed dial. Now, this is extremely, extremely, this is a, uh, this is the sort of dial the Nautilus had with that blue. So they've, it's an Aquanaut version, but it's, it's, they've smartened the Aquanaut up instead of it being a Joker's type of watch. When I say Joker, I mean, you look at some of the celebrities, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, these people all, had the Aquanaut. Wow, look how they've smartened it up. This is this is getting into serious league territory. I do love this blue. Now, this is on the white gold Aquanaut. I would uh, love to see this blue come out in the steel version. Not sure if they will do that. But uh, there's been some fabulous, you know, looking at the Patek range there, things are tough in this whole Swiss industry, and Patek is no different to the big players who churn out volume number of pieces. It's, it's a tough market. China is hard and the world economic crisis. But uh, it's nice to see Patek Philippe seeping through rose gold and beautiful blue. Blue is coming back. This blue, it's very much a ooh, 1970s blue. It's just gorgeous. I'm Archie Luxury, reporting for Basel World 2017. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. 
we buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.